guys, you're watching American Wire. Matt Walsh holds this leftist college student accountable for the claim that she just made. Check it out. Let, let's try to stay focused on one false claim at a time if we can, because we, we might get bogged down. Okay. So you said, you actually started by saying that blocking puberty, which is chemical castration of a child. Just, is, just one example, yeah. Yeah, is life-saving. It can be. How do you know? Because there are children who have been suicidal that have had these interventions made. What children? How do you, how do you know? And how, how many children have had that done personally, and then are still suicidal? Me personally, I haven't met children. Me personally, I haven't met enough trans children to answer that question. You, okay. But I know you that are the making, research exists. You're making this statement. You're stating it as a fact in front of all these people. There must be a reason. There must be something that you encountered that, that led you to this rather radical conclusion that to save a child's life, you have to chemically castrate them. Not Lupron, no, no, sir. Okay, well, that is what you just said. The drugs we give to kids for, for puberty blockers, so-called puberty blockers, originally are, are cancer drugs used to treat prostate cancer. They're also used to chemically castrate sex offenders and child rapists. Now we give them to physically healthy kids. You're saying that we need to do that or they will die. And so one last time I'm going to ask you, what evidence do you have of that remarkable claim? I don't think I claimed that every child would benefit from that. Well, no, I didn't uh, say you did. And, okay. You, you well, said you, puberty no, you blockers did. are you, you, did. Um, you said puberty blockers are life saving. What evidence do you have they, for that? They can be. Um, so, the how evidence do you know? is the encounters with patients who have had these procedures done, and it has saved their. I don't want to say it saved their lives, but it has made their lives better. I can't confirm whether or not they're alive right this second, but there are children that it has helped. So what do you have to say for the happy trans community who has benefited from these procedures? That's my well, question I guess what for I have you. to say is that your entire question is built on a whole stack of false premises that you, that you can't begin to even remotely defend. So uh, I, it's, it is a, it's a faulty question from the start. I, I reject your premise. I, I absolutely reject that there are any kids who need to be chemically castrated in order to be happy. Okay, okay. okay. You know, kudos to Matt Walls for really holding this girl accountable um, to support the claim that she's uh, making. She is saying that chemical castration in a child is actually life-saving. There's so many things wrong about that, but if she's gonna make that claim, as he's trying to hold her accountable to present what research, what data, what statistics did she actually hear in her lifetime that made her stand up there and, and make that claim and sounds like she's very um, passionate and very uh, strong opinionated to it. Like what happened? She couldn't, she could when she started to, to give you, or give us some like uh, research, it was very, you know, it wasn't even, a legitimate thing it was very like a matter of fact right and that that's the problem of today our children are being taught in our college in our school system left-wing thinking but they're not giving them data research statistics to show and support what those claims are, what it is that they're being taught. But they're being taught like, this is what you should believe. This is what you should know. It's very, it's just so scary that this is what our college students are going out and, and, and standing behind and supporting and, and standing up in a, in a presentation like that and, and asking you a question. She could not back up anything, but no, she feels that it is life saving for a child to, to give them medicine that's given to cancer uh, patients to, to change them. How sick is that to even think that is right?